for the member for Ryan to move motion in relation to the Australian flag. I move the motion relating to the Australian flag in terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Um, and I'll call for a second after you've made your speech. She makes the speech. Yes, that's right. I'll call for a second after you've made your speech. Mr Deputy Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the 113th birthday of the Australian national flag on Wednesday the 3rd of September, and I thank the member for Bass for his support. The Australian flag represents us as a free and democratic people and symbolises our heritage, traditions and identity. Our flag is indeed unique. It is the only flag to fly over an entire continent. It is also the first ever to be chosen by an open public competition with over 32,000 designs entered by men, women and children. On the 3rd of, December 1901, 3rd of September 1901, our flag was flown for the first time. The six colonies had united to form the Commonwealth of Australia and our flag became the symbol of this union. Lady Hopeton, the wife of the first Governor-General of the new Commonwealth, announced the names of the successful competitors. Equal first place was given to five almost identical designs belonging to Australians from all different walks of life. They were an artist, an optician's apprentice, an architect, a ship's officer and a schoolboy. Each symbol on our flag has a special meaning, representing our history, our unity as a federation and our geography. The Union Jack acknowledges the historical links we have to Great Britain. The Commonwealth Star represents the six states with a seven point added in 1908 to signify the territories. And the Southern Cross, a constellation only seen in the Southern Hemisphere, represents our location in the world. However, more importantly, it acknowledges the first people of Australia as the Southern Cross is a significant part of most Aboriginal stories of the Dreamtime. Our nation has changed and grown since the beginning of Federation and our flag continues to unite all Australians. It has become an icon of our shared identity. As a life member of the National Flag Association of Australia, I wholeheartedly believe in the importance of our flag and I commend the ongoing advocacy by Alan Pidgeon and his dedicated committee. It unites us as a nation in good times as we celebrate the achievements and successes of our countrymen and women and it keeps us strong in times of tragedy and sorrow reminding us we have the support of a whole nation. For over 100 years, Australian men and women have served under our flag, sacrificing their lives for the good of our nation. It is important we recognise the significance of our flag as a symbol of the bravery and courage of our servicemen and women and pay tribute to them every time it is raised. This is done not only in Australia, but also in other parts of the world. Our flag is raised every morning in the village of villiers bretonneux in France, in memory of the thousands of Australians that lost their lives while liberating the village during the First World War. Our flag is a constant symbol and reminder of what it means to be Australian and signifies the Australian traditions of mateship and courage. Our unique traditions were formed under our flag and we acknowledge the sacrifices made and hardships the generations before us went through to make Australia the safe and free country it is today. Our flag serves as a reminder of the contributions of past and current generations and the significance of this will be passed on to our future generations. One of the co-designers of our flag, 14-year-old schoolboy Ivor William Evans, believed the representation of the Southern Cross was a symbol of Australia's bright future as a leading nation. He showed great foresight as we now have the privilege to call Australia a world leader and the upcoming G20 summit is an example of this. It is excellent when we see our younger citizens show pride and respect for our national symbol and our youth of today are just as passionate about the significance of our flag designed generations ago. Earlier this year I received a letter from the very proud grandfather of one of my young constituents, David Cameron. It included David's assignment on the importance of the Australian flag and why we should keep it unchanged. This reiterates the significance and importance of our flag to young Australians and displays the respect shown for our national symbol. Our flag was designed by the people and belongs to the people. It is an important expression of national pride. <laughs> Today, we celebrate pride in our flag and our nation and celebrate the symbol that binds us all. We are a country that continues to flourish and it is with great privilege that we do this under our flag created by Australians over 100 years ago. I encourage all Australians to make a special effort to fly or display our flag, and especially on its 13th birthday next Wednesday. Yeah. I, th I thank the member for Ryan. Is this motion seconded? Thank you. 
Deputy Speaker, I second the motion and reserve my right to speak. I thank the member for Bass.